All right, guys, Kaz again with Trail Engineering Performance. Uh, I've got a good opportunity to show you some of the effects of uh, torque plate honing. What's really important is what I'm going to show you is uh, a shading in a certain area of the cylinder wall, and this is where the stones have actually touched off in certain areas above and below uh, the cylinder wall. But there's a whole section that it didn't even touch off on. Now, this engine was bored with a precision CNC machine. Okay, so we know that it is perfectly round when we measured it with a dial bore gauge all the way down to the cylinder. We've measured this thing to make sure that it's perfect, perfectly, as perfect can be anyways, it is round, okay, as, as far as the standard would be in boring. It's actually round all the way down. Now something crazy happened. We use a torque plate, and when we torqued this down, what we saw was uh, a distortion that took place, especially up at the top of the cylinder wall. Now I'm fixing to show you this in just a second, but I want you to understand what you're seeing. What you're seeing is the distortion is actually being is able to be seen because we've honed it. There's cross hatching above and below it. Now the diameter of it actually, when their torque plate was not on it, showed to be the same. Now this is really important. If the camera wants to come in here and take a look at this real fast, I want you to see what I'm talking about. Now that shading that you're seeing, you see the cross hatch above it, you see the cross hatch below it, right? So the problem with it is, is that piston ring cannot seal properly because once you put the cylinder head on and you torque it down, what's going to happen is, is that area right there, if this thing was not torque plate honed, is going to be distorted and gases are going to leak past the piston rings because the cylinder wall is not truly round. Every engine has a cylinder head on it if it runs. So if we torque it down with a, uh, with a gasket and we simulate this load. So it's extremely important. It's extremely important that when you're honing these engines, uh, that you do it like it would be once it's assembled. Once you put the cylinder head on, and all this distortion takes place, you can't go back and hone it. The the, the ring has to live in that environment that you have provided for it. So uh, we need to simulate that. We're, that's the reason for the torque plate. Again, I know I'm trying to reiterate, but I want you to understand. When we put this on and we bolt it together, it's like us assembling the engine and honing it while the engine is assembled. If we did it without that, that block, everything would have been cross-hatched and everything would have looked okay, but it wouldn't have been okay. Because when we take it from here to assembly and we go to assemble the engine, now that piston ring has, it's, it's perfectly round. And then all of a sudden where it's important, where the combustion gases take place about an inch from the top, now we have this loose area. Now the engine is no longer efficient. That means your oil life, change, oil change intervals need to be done more often because we got more fuel going in the oil. The fuel mileage goes down and your performance goes down and your bearings don't live as happy a life because now you're diluting the, the oil with fuel. So these are things that you really need to be careful of when you're choosing an engine builder. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and keep us, uh, uh, if you've got any questions, please feel free to uh, ask below. Have a good day, guys.